control tennis rackets. For those of us with so much power, it needs to be tamed. I am Ben from PH Tennis, and I'm gonna take you through my top five. All right, so what makes a control racket a control racket? Let's look at the ultimate comparison. We have the Wilson Blade here, the one of the most controlly control rackets you can get, and the Babolat Pure Drive, one of the most powerful power rackets you can get. And we're just gonna have a very quick look at the differences, and that is gonna explain everything you need to know about control and power frames. So, as you can see, if we look at the throat down here, Pure Drive, big and round and chunky, blade, thin, and angular. Now, this means it cuts through the air a little bit quicker, allowing you to maneuver the racket a bit more. So for those of you with wristy swings, control rackets usually make a bit more sense. If you have a simple, maybe a slightly shorter, punchier swing, that's when power rackets become more effective. And ultimately, that thinner beam translates to more flex in the frame. So when you strike the ball, the frame is going to flex with the ball slightly, keeping the strings and the, and the ball in contact a little bit longer, whereas your stiff power rackets repel that ball straight off again, essentially transferring the force straight back again. That's why this is powerful, and this is what gives you that control. So control rackets, thin, flexible, maneuverable, power rackets, thick and stiff and powerful. And that is the main difference. Power rackets, not for me, don't suit my play style. Joe and Josh can tell you all about how much they love their pure drives and their E-zones. I am gonna go through my top five control after you hit that subscribe button just down there. I'm not gonna start until you do it. Must've done it by now. Cool, let's go. In at number five, we have the Technofiber T-Fight. Now, the tennis purists out there will be screaming at their computers or phones saying this isn't a control racket and technically you are right but what is the technofiber t fight nobody really knows it has lots of characteristics from power frames it has some characteristics from a spin frame it has some characteristics of a control frame but ultimately and this is a key takeaway for everybody watching is that it's how it feels when you're playing with it and when i play with a t fight it feels quite controlly to me. What I mean is, I feel like the, the racket and the ball stay in contact for a long time. It suits the way I play, and generally is a lot of fun to use. I really, really enjoy playing with this tennis racket. For those of you who've watched before and know me, know that I am all about having a good time on a tennis court, and you have a great time when you're using a T-Fight, especially the 295 weight. That 305 is just a little bit heavy and maybe pushes it towards power just a little bit too much. So the 295 gram Technofiber T-Fight is my number five. My number four is the Yonex Percept 100. Now again, not traditionally a control frame. The Percept followed on from the old V-Core Pro, which is Yonex's precision frame. So the 97 is a traditional precision frame. The 100, that extra head size makes it a little bit easier to use. The strings move the part slightly, giving you a bit more spin. And that spin added with the thin beam and the comfortable feel creates a really, really nice control racket, which again is very easy to use and a lot of fun. The Yonex Percept 100 is a control racket. In at number three, I have the Babolat Pure Strike range. Not one racket in particular. I think they are all really, really nice, specifically the 100 and the 298s, the 1619 and the 1820. They're far more comfortable than the old versions. Babolat have really worked hard to make them feel a little bit softer. They play a little bit looser, kind of springy. Um, whippy almost it's like they like they just really really help you access what you would like out of the racket so control rackets often feel underpowered these certainly don't they often can feel very flexible maybe to the point where they feel sort of flimsy these certainly don't um, I'm not 100% sold on the looks, partly because it's very similar to the old one and it felt like a bit of a lazy attempt from Babolat, but if you like a control racket, but you're not really sure whether you wanna go for a 100 square inch, a 1619 or an 1820, you will not go wrong with a Babolat Pure Strike. 
At number two, we have the Wilson Blade family. Again, hard to pick just one. The 100 is great. The 1820 is fantastic. The 1619 is my favorite of the three. But weirdly, the 1820 is probably the best example of a control racket. So 1820 rackets have that slightly denser string bed. They're designed for flatter hitters, maybe serve and volleyers. You're generally gonna get a little bit less spin. This is the best example of an 1820 control racket I can think of, but I prefer the 1619 over that, but I, the 100 I prefer the most. Um, surprising amount of spin, surprising amount of power, which in a control racket, getting those little bonuses is actually really, really great. Um, but all round, the brand new version 9 blade, it's solid, it feels comfy, it is sharp, you get really nice control, really nice feel. It's an all round great racket, but again, with lots of options. So try them all, find out which one works best for you, and it will be a great tennis experience, I'm sure. And at number one, I think this is my third top five video, and it's the third time the Speed MP is at number one. It is my racket, it is my racket of choice. It has been for a number of years now, suits my game perfectly. The new version with Auxetic 2.0 is comfy, it's powerful, it's solid. You can have an absolute riot slamming your racket through the ball, chucking it around the court and winning point after point. You cannot go wrong with a Speed MP. I don't like the Pro quite so much, the slightly heavier version. It's got an 1820 string pattern, which I feel takes some of the ease and some of the joy away, but that's just me. For all you incredible players out there watching, give the Speed Pro a try as well. The MPL, the light version, is also a great tennis racket, but for me, the best control racket you can get, the best racket you can get, is the Speed MP. So there we have it, my top five-ish, I've actually named about 10 rackets, but my top five control rackets. Obviously, just my personal preference. Um, I enjoy control rackets, is what I use. Um, I the Speed MP is mine, I really like the blade, I love the strike, T-Fight is great. They're all really, really nice, it is all personal preference. So get down to your local retailers, give them a try, take them out, play with them, find out the one that feels the best and you have the most fun using and that is the racket for you. Once again, thank you very much for watching and you will see us soon. <clears throat> I haven't checked my hair. Anyway. Top five and hopefully you're gonna learn, no, damn it, it was close. Mm, delete, start again.